Okay, so this is about sorting, and it's two different types of sorting. The first one is sorting uh, parts. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, this part is going to have some uh, various aspects to it. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the circles, and we're going to do a uh, circle scan, kind of like fly cut. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select all of the circles, and we can do that by scanning over while holding shift down. As long as you stay off the inner circle, it will not be selected. So we just have all these selected. Uh, we go into Home and go into Scan, Circle Scan, click OK. And we see that we have a nice circle scan here. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take the inner circle, I'm going to optimize, and I'm going to do a scrap chop on it. OK. Uh, on this part, we're going to select this hole and this hole to run first. Um, that can be important on particular parts. We might want them to uh, be cut in a certain order. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send 10 over to the uh, part library. I'm going to go to the part library. Uh, now this is kind of important. This is where you would have to select uh, sort. If you sort in the primary document, it will be cleared out for some reason. Um, so we're going to select the sort function and we can see this is how it's going to cut currently. So like I said, we wanted to cut this one first, this one second, uh, and then we're going to cut this in uh, a pattern. I'm going to go ahead and cut the inner circle first, uh, then the ring of holes, uh, and it's going to finish and it's going to come over here. Do that one, then the far down corner and perimeter. Okay, so let's simulate that and see what it looks like. When I ask this question, we select no. All right, so that's done it in order. I'll slow it down just a little bit so you can see it. I'll run it one more time. Okay, that's the order re we requested. We're going to go ahead and nest that now. Okay, the nest is complete. I know simple squares go really fast on my office computer. Okay, so let's take a look at the next aspect of sorting. Actually, first let's run, go ahead and run a simulate, and we can see that the um, part function in sort is going in the order we requested, and each part is processed the same way. Okay, I think that's more or less satisfactory. It will go across all of them, and they'll all be, they'll all be the same way. Um, so now we're going to we're going to select what part we want to cut first. So we press the same button as we did before, uh, and now it has selected uh, the parts. And we see that this is the last part that gets cut. Let's go ahead and make this the first part we cut. And all we do is we select it, and then we could, let's say this is the second one, then we go third and fourth, then fifth and sixth, and so on. And we're gonna just kind of mess up the order of these so we can show you how this works. Obviously you would be using this to do a better order, not what I'm doing here, uh, but it helps to use extreme examples to show that the process works. So we're going across and we have reached the last part. Uh, so let's go ahead and simulate that now. And we're going to run the speed up a little bit. So we can see that it started on our first selected part. And it's doing it in the order we requested. Uh, so that's useful if you need to, for some reason, uh, do one part before another one. Uh, it's not particularly easy to move one part in order because it's difficult to see where the parts are in order. Um, but again, it's a useful function if you're ordering a sheet. Um, you know, like so many things, we try to we try to optimize uh, specific components that we make multiple times. If it's a one-off batch, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do something like this. Um, but it does benefit you a lot more if you're making um, maybe hundreds of sheets of the same part over and over again. Uh, if you can have it operate in a predictable pattern where it increases the reliability of the sheet, uh, that is beneficial. Now to save our work here, uh, what we would do is we go to File, 
uh, save as LXD. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go file, save as LXD. All right, and then I would save this as something. So I save this part one. Yes, I'm going to replace. It takes a moment to process through. Uh, then we can go file, new. And then we go file, import. LXD. This is the part we had before. We're going to go ahead and open that. And we see that it's loaded up our nest results. And let's go and take a look at our sort. And their sort is still the same as it was before. Um, and again, it's doing the same order where it processes back and forth. And everything else has been saved as well, including our internal sort order on our part. Uh, so Again, a great way to save some of that custom work that you put effort into um, so that you can use it over again if that's useful to you. Um, and naturally, the more you can reuse uh, your programs and effort, the better.